Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia and never losing insight. Schizophrenia and let us not lose our insight. But before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. And I've been around a few preludes in my ears. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, who's got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a... Uh, great... Hamburger. I go with food and nature a lot for my luxurious items. Have you noticed? Schizophrenia YouTube channel. I do a lot of We're food items. Bird. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. This is the cut of my jib right that's here. That's Mike, he's a rat. For medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. Why all the food items? That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Nature. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. I'm preoccupied with the uh, Thank you for joining Nigerian me on my channel. Food. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. If you never lose your insight, you're always in the battle. The moments when we lose our insight for whatever reason, acute psychosis, when we lose our insight, that's when it becomes a slippery slope. And I don't like slippery slopes. But as long as you're in the general, in the more general, uh, acuity may be specific, but in the more general, in the more general, overlapping the acuity, if you maintain your ability for insight, we're golden. We're golden. That's the end game right there. So if you're having acuities and you have a tough time for a couple hours uh, because your insight is muddied, which happens, but you retreat from the situation and you reflect when you, you have a moment alone or so and you reflect and you're able to think about it and you're able to mitigate what happened and you're able to reason about it and provide yourself some feedback and tell yourself not to overreact and not to be too distorted. If you main that, uh, maintain that ability for insight, the ability to think about your symptoms, uh, you'll always, always rebound, always always but when we lose our insight that's when it becomes a slippery slope and you you lose your insight uh, we we want to keep it as as limited as possible in a temporal manner you may lose your insight for an hour or two or whatever but once you retrieve it you got to use it and that's the end game and that's the uh, remediation of it all Never lose your insight. Never lose your capacity for insight. If you have a bad day, it's a bad day. The next day, you turn the page, you use your insight, and uh, you start over and you get back in the game. And you mitigate the uh, acuity. Never losing insight. It's so essential. If you have it, you're golden. That's it. That's it. So whenever you're having troubles, just say, hey, you know, maybe my insight tomorrow will kick in better. And uh, that's the uh, panacea. It is like a great burger. Nothing like a great burger. A little bacon on it. Maybe ch I, I, I could go for like bacon with uh, like a heavy Swiss on it. With lettuce, tomato. Yeah. Yeah, I have insight for a hamburger. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a great day. Never lose your insight. You know you have it. Never lose it. Bye now.